The man accused of murdering a Mobile police officer denied youthful offender status. Marco Perez was 19 years old when investigators say he shot and killed Mobile police officer Sean Tudor. Steve Alexander was in the courtroom for that hearing. He's live now from Government Plaza. Judge Ben Brooks announced his decision after hearing arguments for both the prosecution and defense. Perez came in in handcuffs and sat quietly during the meeting. Family members and friends of Officer Tudor sat in two rows to the left. Family members and friends of Perez sat on the first row to the right. Authorities say Tudor was trying to arrest Perez in January when Perez shot and killed him at the Peach Place Inn Apartments in West Mobile and that Tudor was shot while fighting with Perez. Assistant District Attorney Jennifer Wright argued against youthful offender status, which would make maximum punishment only up to three years. The defendant had prior history and had been granted youthful offender in the past, and based upon that and his prior history, we, we had requested youthful offender be denied in this particular case. Burglary cases, I think. Breaking and enterings and burglaries, yes. But defense attorney Jason Darley cited video and depositions from two witnesses saying Officer Tudor approached Perez in an unmarked car, got out of the driver's side, and Perez approached the passenger side of the car, in Darley's words, expecting to get a ride. Darley says according to the depositions, Officer Tudor drew his gun, did not identify himself, pushed Perez, and there was a struggle between the two, and Officer Tudor was shot. He also says there is no audio of the interaction and Officer Tudor didn't have a body camera. You know, the, the witnesses will have to speak for themselves once they're in court. But, I mean, you know, we'll be filing motions in the case and, and that will lay some of it out. But, I mean, this is kind of where we are at this point. But you testified he was not identified as a police officer except for the badge on his belt. And... Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you heard that. Now, earlier there was testimony at earlier hearings that some of the encounter between Perez and Officer Tudor was caught on a surveillance camera at the apartments, including a fight just moments after Officer Tudor got to the complex. But the deadly shooting was out of the camera's view. Judge Brooks denied youthful offender status to Perez. Perez then pleaded not guilty to capital murder and other charges. Before leaving the courtroom, though, Perez winked to his friends or family members. Now, the next hearing is set for January 30th. That is going to be a status hearing. And right now, trial is scheduled for August of next year. Reporting live from downtown, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News.